How do Chain Grave Games back again for another issue of Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormbringer? Issue 75, and in this issue, we get another Auric. Another green boy. We get an Auric War Chanter with his skull bones things. Anyway, let's get into the issue. Cut off that bit. Put it to the side. And then pour out the issue. There we go. Now, two tiddly sprues and a base. That's 40 mil, I think. Pretty sure that's 40 mil base. Yeah. Yeah. And now let's have a look at these sprues. Now. Trying to get smooth. There we go. Now this sprue is Games Workshop 2016, so it's it, it's an older one, but it's not ridiculously old. I say this sprue. There's another sprue here. His. Here we go. His head and his armor bits are on this section, uh, and then on this section, you've got his body bits and his uh, his scully bony bits. So, pretty simple model, no options for building, um, but he's, he, well, I, I guess he does what he does, uh, so, you know, it, is, is it worth it to get him in this issue? Well, for $9.99, uh, yes, it is, it is worth it, because he's a, uh, an online only one from Games Workshop, which means he's $21.50. That also means, because he's online only, you don't get any discounts from third-party retailers. You have to sell him at the Games Workshop price. So, for half price, you're getting a War Chanter, a character model. Yeah, well, why is that not a good thing? It is a good thing. Let's, let's not, you know, talk silly. Anyway, let's get into the magazine. So, in this issue, you'll be collecting your War Chanter. Oh, I need to move off the side there. Go, go, go away a second, man. Go, get away. You'll be collecting him, building him, painting him, and painting some scenery details, apparently. Playing with your War Chanter, uh, Destruction Tactics, and The Last Stand, A Glimmer of Hope. Right, so your War Chanter. Right. Straight away, War Chanter can Ooh! You don't get any lore in this one, do you? Jesus, is this like half the size of the other issues? What's going on? Yes. Is there more lorey stuff at the back? Uh. Not really. Oh, this is a very bare bones issue. Right, so your war chanter. Um. War chanters are inspirational Iron Jaws leaders who beat out special rhythms with their crude musical instruments called gork sticks and mork sticks. These catchy martial beats can infuse the war chanters' comrades with fury, reinforce their strength, or even heal them of their wounds. Very nice. And then how to build him? There'll be only one build kind of option. Uh, but... It's a nice model. Uh, 2016, did I say it came out? 2016, let me just check. 2016, yeah, so it's, it's eight years old now, but in terms of orcs, or oryx, sorry, eight years isn't that bad, really. I mean, compared to some of the, uh, the very old kind of bodies and stuff like that, this model holds up very well. How to paint scenery details. Oh, be still my beating heart. And then we've got the third edition rules for the Auric War Chanter, which is no good for anyone nowadays. So, is fourth edition rules. That should keep you going for a bit. And then we get a stuff about the Mega Boss. So, uh, great melee, durable. Limited range. Um, and then we get the War Chanter. Good support. Hard eating. Need support. Oh, oh dear. Oh. And then... 
This, yeah, this issue, it seems to be a lot smaller than the other issues we've had. Uh, we usually get a little bit of lore and stuff like that, at least. Right, so on the back of this issue, we're being shown what we get in the next three issues, which is Storm Drake Guard, Storm Drake Guard, Storm Drake Guard. We're getting all the stuff to build some big Stormcast Dragon Riders, which is, is pretty damn cool, to be honest, especially with the price this will turn out at, because these are quite expensive. Yes, they are. Going towards triple digits, more towards triple digits than they are double digits, so yeah. Anyway, that is it for this issue. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, uh, like and subscribe, much love, I will see you in a bit.